Hi everyone, Brian here from Black Ops Toys, coming at you today with an unboxing of General's Armory, U.S. Army Rifleman. This has been a release that a lot of people have looked forward to. Uh, we just got these in. We have uh, a couple mitten box left and we do have some parts up. It is produced by General's Armory in conjunction with ENS and 1 6th kit. So there is a reason that they do the box this way. Okay. A lot of times you see like the art, you know, you see the, the picture of the figure on the box. General, General's Armory wants this to be a surprise. So you don't actually know what's in here by looking at the box. You actually don't even know what's in there by looking at the box. But it's some good stuff. All right, let's dig in. I'm gonna pull this guy out and I'm gonna just start laying pieces out. Tape. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bottom tray out. Whoops, don't lose anything. All right, let's get that stuff out of here. So let's go ahead and start from the top. Looks like we have an M4 assault rifle. This is the new scope it looks like. This is an ACOG. So this right here is a red dot on top as well. So very cool. I said very cool again. There's a PEQ. All right. Standard M4. Does have a sling mount right here. Great weapon, just like easy and simple's normal stuff. Stock moves. Trap door opens, dust cover opens. Okay, it is spring loaded. Does have the A frame on top. So, and we have three magazines. Fill the magazine pouch. Four grip. And that's all for the rifle stuff. Pistol. Okay, so this is uh, a new model. So this is an M9 with a uh, rail on the bottom. So these were highly sought after when Soldier Story made them. Magazine, a little bit loose, does pop out. A glue dot will help that just fine. But cool thing, check this out. Spring loaded. And the hammer moves. Wow, great detail. That's an awesome pistol. Got a holster. Love the gray. Goggles. Goggles with dust cover. So that's a unique piece. These goggles will be a hot item for sure. But they're smoke lens. Got glasses. Looks like some Oakley M frame with the smoke lens as well. Got some pistol magazines. Got tourniquet, got two M4 mag pouches, got radio pouch, we got a triple cell M4 mag pouch. These can be used as M4 mag pouches or uh, flash or smoke grenade pouches as well. So I think in this instance, these are gonna go with this pouch. And then we have some smoke grenades that would go in those. We have a frag grenade pouch with a frag grenade, go figure. We have a dual pistol mag pouch, and you got ammo to fill that. These are all molly, so just like the real deal. Uh, you're gonna weave that in and out. Let's see, there. Let's check the fit. Magazine in there. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, we have a multi-purpose pouch, or maybe an IFAC. This is also a multi-purpose. We have a gun belt. This is nice. Big buckle. Um, does have the Velcro on the inside as well. And Velcro as well here for adjusting. But that's going to be a nice belt. Solid. Then we have a camelback or, or a water bladder. This is for a water bladder. Uh, you'd put the water in here and this is your drinking tube this will go on the back of the vest 
Then we have a sling. This is a two-point sling. So front and back. And you can see it's going to attach here and here. We have a radio. I like these radios. I really like these radios. And it's not because I like the actual radio, it's because I like this radio because it's easy to put together. <laughs> this doesn't require a headset. So this is your, your little speaker right here. So the guy would just grab this, click it and talk instead of having a headset. Headsets are hard to put on. They look cooler, but they're a pain in the butt to put on. We got a strobe. Looks like we got a helmet light. We got NVG, night vision goggle, night vision Google. This has a lens cover as well. Let's see. There we go. All right, so helmet. Fancy schmancy. This has all the bells and whistles. Uh, this right here is a little light and it actually clips to, you can see right here, this is an LED light. And it would just clip to the side of your helmet like that or you can put it on a vest. Strobe, strobe could go ahead and go in this band here. Let's see. This is basically so at nighttime, you know who the good guys are. Just drop it like that. We'll put it anywhere. Goggles will go around here. Um, and then the NVG, check this out. So you can see this right here. This will go in the bottom right here. And I should just be able to push down. Pop in. Bam! Bam! Who's your daddy? Look at that. So just like the real thing. Sit like that, put the lens cover on. Pop it down to go dark. But great, great helmet. Very well put together. We got some patches. And we got a bag full of goodies. So let's check the bag real quick. Got some name and rank patches. You cut these out, by the way. So you can see that they're outlined. You just cut those out with scissors. They have Velcro on the back. Then we have an antenna. This goes on the radio, right there. It's simple. This right here is a folding sight. So you can see this has an A-frame sight. Looks like an A. And on the rear is where this guy would go. Let's just go ahead and throw it on there. Piece of cake. So when I'm doing this, I'm actually pulling the charging handle back right here. I'm pushing this on and I'm just letting the charging handle go. But you can see a glue dot and then you got your sight post and your A-frame. And you can fold it down and that way you can look through your optic. So then we got a sticker. If you know what the sticker is and you know why they include this with almost every single figure, please make sure that you leave that uh, in the comments below. If you do know, I'll give you a cookie. Just kidding, I don't have any cookies. And then we have these guys. These are actual patches. Airborne, Mountain Ops, good stuff. All right, so I've been excited to get into this. So this looks like Jeremy Renner. I'm thinking that this is very similar to Jeremy Renner in a particular movie. If you know what movie I'm thinking of, uh, maybe that he wore this outfit. Uh, please leave that in the comments below. Fantastic head sculpt. So this is probably done by 1-6 Kit. Kit does some awesome stuff. Kit and uh, his partner Eleven do some great stuff. Best is awesome. Let's check, take a look at the uniform underneath. Watch this. Whenever I put these vests together, I take them off the figure. But now we can see the rest of it. Boots are awesome. So this is a peg type figure, meaning he's got a peg on the end of his leg here. And 
these boots, um, in my opinion, are more accurate because uh, they're not a foot type, meaning you can't stick a foot inside. The foot, there's actually a plastic foot inside that this is all glued down to. So you can actually get the correct shape of the boot, which is really, really neat. So literally you just pop the peg out, push the peg in, and these are good to go. You don't actually have a foot to put in there. So do a spin, elbow pad, reinforcement, Velcro panel, pockets do, do open. Check that out, functioning. You can put lots of money in there. You can put money in there. Look at that. Just like the real thing folds out. So when they actually do these figures, they would actually go out and buy the real kit and then make it in miniature. So that's how detailed they are. But he can definitely strike a pose. Oakley gloved hands, looks like. PVC, so soft. Then we have the vest. So this is a great, great plate carrier. Uh, this is just like the real deal. So a lot of times people don't, they see this from the website, but they don't actually know how intricate it is. So these would be armor plates. So you could actually put a dime in there and make it heavy. And it's right here, just like the real thing. Put plates in there, armor plate in there. These are elastic, like a bungee material, just like the real thing, it wraps around you. But yeah, Shazam, it's good stuff. This is the back, and this is the back because it's got a pull handle, all right? You're to get hit and uh, they need to get you out of here and you couldn't move they would grab this and drag you to cover anyway all in all fantastic release if you like this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new content like this guy hi everyone brian here still here thanks for sticking around uh, this is a little treater for you um, I was digging around in my stuff and I came across some old General's Armory releases and I just wanted to show them to you. They're still some of my favorites. A couple rifle sets. And this is kind of how General's Armory got their start. Easy and simple. Two of my favorite rifles. This is... Oh, where is it? LVOA. And this is Global Response Rifle couple quick things. Let's just take these out so you can see what they look like. Lots of good kit. Wow, lots of good stuff. Get some extra magazine and stuff. Right. A couple more goodies. So lots of great stuff here, lots of good kit, lots of good variations. So the reason I'm showing you two different ones is because all of these parts between these are compatible. So you can swap scopes, you can swap uh, sights, you can do slings, you can you can basically kind of take and build your own, which is really cool. But I just wanted to show you guys these because they're neat. Check that out. You've probably seen this in the division a couple times. Fantastic quality. Watch. See? Don't break that. You can move this out and then you push it in and it will lock it. Okay, but you don't want to break that. Magazine does come out. This is the other unique one. Okay, check the front end out. This is amazing. If you know what this is, please leave that in the comments below. We'll see if you get it right. 
Check that out. Okay, so I like both of these. These are both great. I might, I'm gonna customize them real quick. Kinda just swap that. Okay. Scope with red dot. Just slide on. Put that back on. Yeah. Again, use a little bit of glue dot and it'll stay. But you have, check this out. We can actually pull that off if we want. Put a suppressor on there. That's a monster suppressor. We actually released that uh, with the Jameson Deathridge figure from Zert. Check this guy. And no, that's not backwards. That's the way it's supposed to go. Looks pretty badass. And you have these little rails right here. You can see, just like a puzzle, you just push those in. And now you got a rail segment. And then I could use this foregrip. I actually uh, prefer it that way. You can see it's kind of cocked forward. A lot of people uh, would turn it around, but I actually like it that because I pull when I shoot. Anyway, same deal with this guy. So you can see these aren't compatible between these two. They have different connection points. So same type of deal, just plug and play. This is a hand stop. And then you could do the sights and you could actually switch those. So this gun could get those. This gun could get those. The light can go up here. Like that. And this would come down there. But lots of different options. Cool thing is you can kind of build whatever you can think of. Um, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new content like this guy.